Okay, for this example we've got the same lens we used previously, the same convex lens. Its focal length is two centimeters, so because it, once again it's double-sided, so we've got a focal point on either side of the lens at the two centimeter mark. We're using the same scaling, every four squares represents one centimeter on my graph paper. Now this time our object is placed inside the focal point, so between our focal point and the lens is where the object goes. And it's a good thing to remember for anything that's converging, so a convex lens or a concave mirror, if the object is placed inside the focal point, you're going to get a virtual image. It is worth remembering. Let's see how that looks. Now here my object is 1.25 centimeters from the lens, so according to my scaling, if the one centimeter mark is four squares, then 1.25 will be an additional square, each square representing 0.25 of a centimeter. So here's my object, and again, I've made it an arbitrary height. Now, as before, we're going to start our ray diagram with our parallel ray. Any ray that's parallel has to converge and pass through the focal point. Let's do that ray immediately and see what it looks like. Okay, so there's our first ray. A parallel ray strikes the center of our lens and converges through the focal point as shown. So there's our refracted ray on the right. Now the second ray, just like before, we're going to draw it so it goes straight through the center of the lens undeflected. So here's our second ray straight through the center of the lens undeflected. Now it's up to the two refracted rays, the ones on the right, <coughs> to cross or converge to locate our image. And clearly, because we're inside this focal point, these two rays will never converge. They're diverging rays. So to us, if we're standing on this side of the lens and looking through the lens, we're going to interpret this as converging behind the lens. We're going to get a virtual image. Our eye is going to follow these rays straight back and construct its own image. So let's dot these lines back and see where the refracted rays actually appear to cross. So I've traced my refracted rays back, so I've lined up a ruler right along my refracted ray and dotted a line backwards. We use dotted lines because, remember, this is not the actual ray. The actual ray is the one that passes through the lens. This is only where the ray appears to originate from. And both of these rays, if we dot them back, appear to originate from a point where my hand is. So to us, if we're looking through the lens from the right, we're going to see an image that is upright and much larger than the object. This is how a magnifying glass works. Now before we sketch in our image, we can do one more ray that's associated with this focal point. Now remember, we had one that was parallel, goes through the focal point. If I start a ray in line with this back focal point, it will eventually end up parallel. And we'll cross your fingers and see if we can get all these rays to merge at that one spot. Let's try it now. So my third and final ray, I line up my ruler with this back focal point, the one on the left and I start a ray in line with that focal point coming off the tip of the arrow. So it goes basically up at an angle, hits the center of the lens, or that imaginary line that we've called the center of the lens, and then ends up going parallel. Now again, this ray on the right, this top parallel ray, and the bottom two refracted rays all must converge. So if we dot this ray back, we should hope to find that it converges where the other two do. Let's do that now. Now because I've used graph paper, we can see that my final ray does in fact appear to be coming from a point where the other two rays meet. So let's sketch that image in now. So we see our upright virtual image, and that's why it's dotted. Anything virtual must be dotted. It's located just beyond 3.25 and before 3.5, so a good estimate would be about 3.3. And because it's virtual, we say that the image distance is negative 3.3. So to summarize, our image is located at negative 3.3 centimeters. It's upright, it's magnified, it's larger than the object, and it's virtual.